Hello guys, what's going on? Strupiel here and today I want to talk about the new update, the stuff that I like and the stuff that I hate and dislike, because hate is a powerful word. So, first thing the most annoying is that new gem icon. Just seriously, why we need that icon? It's annoying and it's another thing covering our screen that is just disturbing, like we don't have already here. Uh, button to my gems, like we don't have already more events button, like it doesn't pop up when you open the game, the screen with events. Why adding more stuff? It's getting more annoying. And also, what about the walls? I like the, these new walls. Uh, to be honest, there was a big problem and I was pretty su surprised that they added uh, walls in the new update before they announced the sneak peeks. Because in HBMST or also Hero Trials and other stuff, Self Destruct and Moltanic and other heroes are just destroying these walls like some kind of peasants that that is not even powerful, strong or a good for defense. So this is pretty good that they added that, but from level A11 to 15, it looks the same. Just seriously, are IgG graphic designers so lazy to add more skins, just one skin? And I'm not even saying that it looks the same as the level 10 walls. There's just different color and instead of flames, there's a diamond, floating diamond. So that's for it and uh, what else came in the new update? We can upgrade our town hall. But, 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 one thing that I've noticed is that you can upgrade your relic hall. Oh, relic hall, okay. But, why? Why relic hall? Let, wait, are there any new spells? No, there, there's no new levels, nothing that you can get better, faster, after upgrading relic hall, above level 20. So. What is the reason of upgrading that building just for more HP as a decoy building? That doesn't make sense for me because, wait, wait, there's a guild hall. And you know what? You cannot upgrade guild hall. This is ridiculous. And what would be the advantage of up upgrading guild hall? For example, you could get more space for your flax. Yeah, this is still something good, better than getting nothing, nothing from upgrading credit hall. So this is one of the things that I really hate. <sighs> Making some buildings available to upgrade without possibility to upgrade other much more obvious for um, upgrading purposes buildings. Yeah, the other thing, I really like that can upgrade town hall and you can get a 6 hero tower, uh, I mean 6 tower and this is, this is very good and decent but, but tell me why first upgrade you get 10 walls, ok then in another upgrade you get another 10 walls but from town hall 20 to 25 you get just 20 additional walls you don't get 50 this is the thing that disappointed me a lot just 20 additional walls? Are you kidding me? And you know what do you get after upgrading your town hall to level 25? You get a, you get a freaking army camp. Fifth army camp. Why? Because this is the thing that we need to beat HVMT or what? One of the things that I've heard is that players are complaining that it takes a lot of time to hire troops so fifth army camp will be pretty good and it will, it will help them to save more time but you get nothing more town hall level 25 and you get army camp this is something that i really dislike i would like to get at least 10 walls then i i would complain much less than that than currently what else what else let's look at the at the leaderboard I'm looking for the new hero. Oh, is it a new hero? Is it a new hero? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, why am I? Oh my god, it's loading. Uh, I think that there's a new hero. 
I could see it. So, what about the new hero? Yeah, no, it's a warlock, sorry. About the new hero, his skill can revive your heroes. Okay. By the way, this is just a temporary revive, so after the game mode is closed, the hero is reviving in your hero base. So it's like you can spend 10 gems to revive it, but uh, anyway, the skill is not permanent, so it just revives in game mode, but then your hero is dead again. Hmm. Other thing, other thing is that this is a obviously defensive hero, and his skill, his skill only works for the offensive game modes. It doesn't work for HBM. It doesn't it doesn't work from for the Wretched Gorge, and it doesn't work for some other game modes where you defend. This is this is obviously dumb. How come hero that has a defensive skill cannot be used in defensive game modes? Oh my god, this is just... Dude, dude, it is the only purpose to use this hero in def defensive game modes. But anyway, from other things, we got these new up upgrades of the buildings to level 25. Not all of them, but, but some. And... Do you know what? These buildings have no different look. Their skins stay the same till level 25. So there's obvious, obviously ab there's absolutely no difference in the look of these buildings. So once again I want to say IGG graphic designer designers are extremely lazy or they're not competent. I don't know which one is true but this is what I wanted to say about the new update. Yeah, some good things, but much more bad things that I criticize. And is that all? Oh, no, wait, wait. I forgot about the most important thing. We have a level 10 star heroes. 10 star heroes. So... It's not that bad, but you cannot upgrade them instantly after the update. It requires 5 million gold, so most of the players will just rush with gems to upgrade them. And of course they will rush with the buildings to finish the building time. You can see here, there is a nice finish button, just 1700 gems and uh, another dozen, another ton of gems for skipping uh, these buildings time and we have also skill 10 10 okay level 10 10 skill not that good not that bad let's consider most of the players want to 9 of 9 um, make 9 of 9 cupid pump nuke but now of course they will try to make them 10 10 so it sounds pretty good they are most they are almost the most important heroes in the game, Cupid and Pumpkin Duke, but suddenly Pumpkin Duke at 10, 10, 10, 10 skill doesn't make a big difference. You can say that there is almost no difference, just more damage and only affects some berserk heroes, heroes with 1 of 5 and 2 of 5 berserk skill. Yes, where is my Pumpkin Duke? He is here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see... Oh, right there. So, so as you can see, uh, right now he has 50% buff, and then he will have 55%. Just 5% difference. 60% would be worth upgrading, but not 5. And also Cupid. Cupid at V9 of 10 is giving 55 energy from that what I know. And when we upgrade him to 10 of 10, he gives 65 energy. It doesn't make your heroes proc any faster. And that's pretty lame. That's really lame. Well, 10% more damage, it's pretty good. But it's, it's still better to upgrade your Moltanica, to upgrade your Santa Boom. Because Moltanica at 10 of 10 gets 90% debuff. Santa Boom gets additional 90% damage. There's a big difference. Also, Minotaur. 
mana targets have second longer stun and five more targets bigger damage. This is things that are worth upgrading. But not Cupid, not Pumpkinuk. I'm sure that IgG has problems with math. They, they don't even know how math in their game works. There is also other thing, the three new talents, they cannot be 1 on 5, they cannot be 2 of 5, they start above level 2, so we can only see 3 of 5, 4 of 5, 5 of 5. This is pretty stupid. Why they did something like that? So why is it, why it isn't 1, one of 3, 2 of 3 and 3 of 3? Yes, this is really dumb. I don't agree with such a system. But anyway, these new talents are not worth anything. Maybe just the corrode one. I like it a little bit. Well, that is just ridiculous for me. And from me, that's everything about that update. So once again, thanks everyone for watching this. Hopefully you like it. And hopefully you will subscribe, comment and share with your friends. So, bye everyone.